Welcome to a day in the life of eight cats and two dogs. This is our morning routine where we start upstairs, of course, where we wake up. We have two cats that like to stay upstairs, so we give them the master bedroom for, to make them feel safe. We use the Royal Cannon Urinary SO to feed them along with the, their hard food version as well. This helps to prevent any type of urinary stones or obstructions. Summer does like to sleep in this little fancy bed plus a chair. She has to be elevated on a pedestal. And this is Summer right here. She is our oldest kitty who did have the urinary obstruction. So we're extra careful with her. We notice that she does feel more stress around other cats. So ever since we've kind of isolated her in the room, it's been a lot better. This is Stella. She's allowed inside as well. And now we will feed the downstairs cats. This is usually the hungry ones first. It's our two black kitties, Luna and Susie. If we're ever downstairs and we haven't fed them yet, Susie will definitely be in your face until you feed her. And we like to give them hard food first. We have these raised bowls that they're being fed from, which is amazing. It helps prevent any type of vomiting and um, throw up. So I can have those linked down in the comments down below. They are amazing. It's really helped prevent any type of uh, digestion issues with our cats. Here we feed the Blue Buffalo brands, uh, both hard food and wet food. I use the Freedom um, collection from the Blue Buffalo. So... Yes, we do feed them on top of our dining table. We don't ever eat on our dining table, so we decided let's just make our home comfortable for our pets because it's really hard for me to crouch down every morning with six bowls. Here they are enjoying all of their meals. They love to eat and sometimes we have to watch out to see who finishes first to make sure that everybody gets the right portion. Callie is the sixth cat here that likes to eat alone, so she patiently waits for us to take her her bowl in a separate area. After the crazy feeding time, we definitely wipe down those tables because they do get very busy and dirty, so trying to make sure that everything stays clean. Next, we go on a walk with our puppers. They usually go on the side of the house um, first thing in the morning to help relieve themselves from a night in the kennel but they have to go on their walk before they eat because they love just getting uh, some morning energy out and running around. Jaxie, come. Come, Jaxie. Now it's time for Max's favorite part of the walk, which is going home so that he can drink his water and get his food sit they always want a treat after their walk and Bye. since they're such good boys we give it to them but some days max doesn't care for his treat so we just give him the option for their food we use a mixture of wet and dry food as well our wet food is the blue buffalo brand and the dry food is the fat dog from natural balance Next, it's time to reset our litter box. We change the bag every day for the downstairs one because it is six cats using it. So we, even if it's not super full, we wanna make sure that it continues to cycle throughout the night. You have Stella here making sure that I do it correctly. She's usually the supervisor of the unit. <laughs> The litter robot has been such a prized possession in our household. We got our first one in 2020. So that's the older model that we keep upstairs. And then we kept the newer model for downstairs because this one is more gray, a sleeker design. The other one that we have is more of a beige look. So I usually just check everything and make sure that it's refilled and ready to go. Then it's time to vacuum. I always like to play with the kitties. They usually make a huge mess. Even though we do have Roombas, I am a little bit anal and I like to vacuum a little bit more because we run it throughout the night and it still gets a little bit dirty throughout the day. The Roomba does get a bit loud. So after we vacuum, we finally take care of the humans and we like to drink our coffee and get started with work. And 
they're just all relaxed and ready to hang out for the rest of the day then we'll probably just walk the dogs one more time throughout the day and sometimes we'll feed the dogs at night but this is pretty much it you know it does seem like a lot with a lot of animals but as soon as the morning routine is done it doesn't feel that bad you get to enjoy the animals hanging out all throughout the house thanks for watching please share your comments down below and don't forget to subscribe